Welcome back to the Bumper Breakfast. All right, joining mm. us this morning on the show, um, we will. Oh my God! Sorry, we're going straight to the news recap uh, this morning. <laughs> uh, it was right in my mind, like uh, our guest was going to come on the show and immediately join the conversation. But of course, let's quickly go to the news recap uh, for this morning. I want to begin with Professor Yemi Oshibajo's visit yesterday. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo has reiterated the need for increased investment in open universities and uh, expansion of capacity of the tertiary institutions in Nigeria. Oshibajo was represented by the Minister of Transportation, Muazu Jaji Sambo, at an event in Okada, said the expansion of tertiary institutions would accommodate more youths who constitute about 70% of the country's population. He said, as a nation, Nigeria must invest in more open universities with the number of youths accounting for about 70 percent the country cannot overemphasize the need to expand the capacity of its tertiary education landscape cost effectively simply both the private sector and the public sector would have to participate in funding university education for better effectiveness all right all right this is the news on Serap social economic rights and accountability project Serap has urged Pre President Muhammad Buhari to urgently direct the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, sign an appropriate law enforcement agencies to identify and arrest the perpetrators and sponsors of attacks on the offices of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, across the country. Serap urged Buhari to ensure that the perpetrators and their sponsors are named and shamed and promptly brought to justice, regardless of their political affiliations. All right, we go straight to the stories from the Office of the Nigerian Law Enforcement Agency. Ten days after he was declared wanted, operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, have arrested fleeing Lagos socialite and owner of Adikas Hotels, Alaji Ademola Afolabi Kazim, aka Alaji Abdallah, Abdallah Kazim Muhammad, over offenses bordering on exportation and trafficking of illicit drugs as well as money laundering. And recall that the agency on Tuesday, the 1st of November, declared the suspect wanted following his failure to honor NDLEA invitations and and an order granted by a federal high court in Lagos. The wanted drug kingpin was uncovered as the sponsor of, the, of some traffickers arrested by the anti-narcotics agency in their recent attempt to export cocaine to Dubai, UAE and other destinations outside Nigeria. Right, uh, so going to more stories um, today. Um, Pardon me, please. Right, coming up next on the news, uh, the Lagos State Governor, Baba Jude Sonwolu, has declared that the realities of time have placed um, on the government responsibility of creating and harnessing opportunities through improved private sector participation to accelerate economic growth, create more jobs for the Timi youth, and enhance the revenue-generating capacity. Mm -hmm. Babajide Sahelu disclosed this on Sunday while drawing the curtain on the 2022 Lagos International Trade Fair. He said through the creation of Lagos Exports Promotion Committee to, prom uh, to promote exportation of locally made products, the administration is working with various stakeholders to position products and services in the state for increased fee exports. Now, the theme of this year's fair was connecting businesses and creating value. But just before we go to that, um, a quick discussion here. Uh, people who saw that the trade fair this year complained of low sales, like really, really low sales. They didn't have enough customers. Well, most of the shops and, um, you know, mapped out shops were not occupied. And, well, and, the, and whether they the, say the, could the, be the, the challenge. The, the, the economy is really not um, not favorable. Is not time. friendly with a lot of Nigerians at mm. this point in time. Although, like I keep on saying, that um, the world is generally experiencing a global in, in, recession, recession and all of, of that. Uh, but I think uh, the main, the reason we have 
uh, we are so much affected is because uh, the value of our Naira. You know, sometimes last week we were trying to gain mm. something, but somehow yeah. we lost it over the weekend. Yeah, over again. The weekend yeah. So, which yeah. is a, a very sad one. That is a, a, a huge contributive, contributory factor so. to that, all of this. Uh, you can, other than I, I anticipated something like that in the sense that, um, you know, like I was telling my children uh, the other day, because usually we do our shopping groceries at a super mall most times on Sunday where we where, where we are coming from church, and it's always um, uh, uh, we always dread it because most times when we finish shopping, you have to queue. In fact, we have had to queue. There was a time we have had to queue for over an hour to make payment. So what I usually do is after buying, I just give the card to them and go into the car and tell them to make payment. So you know, the last time we were there. Uh, my, in fact, immediately we got in there, my daughter was the first to say, Ah, mommy, no, no crowd, you know, yeah, at the pay, mm. pay, at pay, the pay, you know. Mm. So I was, you know, I said, There's no money in the country. And yeah, yeah, I've been there, I think, after that uh, incident, like two or three, because my daughter mentioned it. So it made me you know, to have a conscious, you know, um, uh, I'm conscious about when I just walk in, I want to see the crowd in there. So mm. it bounces back to the fact that. Have everybody is being hit by this right, one way or the other, uh, uh, and uh, even uh, at times like this, you find uh, that the rich, the rich, the rich also they the rich also mm. All right, and and especially a time like this where you know the international trade fair is what a lot of people look forward to, mm. and getting to see the way it is this year. I mean, it's mm. kind of surprising. It tells on how our economy has so mm. degenerated and exactly. all that. Mm. And you find out that a lot of people also are not. Um, emotionally and um, psychologically balanced exactly. to even exactly. remember that they, they, they need something yes. Yes. and to even, a lot of people are not even aware you know no, that's that's you, the point gone are the days when you're going you're going towards the mid, mid october you start thinking about yeah, exactly. the trade fair, trade fair will come exactly. up trade, trade exactly. fair is going to come exactly. up exactly but now a lot of people they are exactly. not i tell you probably if i was not in the media maybe technology you, you might not have been aware like that maybe technology is a, is a contributor yeah. factor because but, but technology <laughs> should be one for social media Black should, be, should, should be can you remember black friday as, as well okay mm. that's you true. know black friday as well used to be it's supposed to be used, very yes, exactly so tell, maybe tell, tell a lot of people do online mm. purchase and all of that exactly. and, and then something exactly. the trophy also did this year that was really um you know that contributed a bit to the crowd at the trade fair is the fact that they reduced they in fact they practically eradicated those people who sell on the street you know okay. traders over time oh. inside who paid hard-earned money mm. to get the stalls mm. otherwise company and then people bring parallel products exactly. you yeah. know outside yeah. to the front yeah. of the yeah. trade yeah. side yeah. to sell at the yeah. so, exactly. so all of that was that removed that might have all of that was removed that might have in the recent that times that also because yeah. i know of last year i don't i i can't talk about this year people complain that uh, things are quite expensive were yeah. quite expensive that was last mm -hmm. year at the trade fair and um, uh, interviewing in some one or two shop owners, they said uh, the cost of acquisition, even for the shop space, the cost of uh, erecting so like stores and everything. So, you know, they have to bring it all back yeah. on the ground. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that the organizers also should be, uh, look into all of those yes they should try and look into all of this so that uh, yeah, exactly. they make it exactly. because you exactly. the, uh, the cost is all in comparison uh, and you know we 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 can't shy away from the fact that people are so overwhelmed with a lot of issues mm. nigerians are overwhelmed mm. that sometimes mm. they don't even get to remember mm. um, the certain things are taking that's place exactly mm. exactly all right the dollar rate at the black market is about 745 naira a bit better than what it was last week um dipped a little uh, lower than yeah, this no, during the weekend, but then it was uh, uh, you know, it was about 860, 860 yeah. when we started uh, the started, week yeah. last week, last was about week. 860. I dipped almost to 600, yeah. but has risen back to 711 over the weekend. Over, over the, the weekend. weekend, so I said last night it was 7 uh, 710, 710 to buy and 745 to sell. To sell. So, um the selling rate still remains uh, 40, 440 at the banks anyway. But let's and, listen and to Governor Babaji de Sawolu. Investors have to continue to demonstrate resilience and determination to forge ahead despite these challenges. I therefore commend the LCCI for a strong confidence 
in the Nigerian economy and they believe that it will be the growth target for this year. We will continue to work hard and implement innovative and creative ideas driven by technology to meet your expectations and the aspirations of, of Lagosians for a greater Lagos that is functional, productive, safe, secure, and provides limitless opportunities for all. I will work very closely with the Lagos State Government to ensure that we support them to achieve the vision of the State Government. It's my interest because the better you are, the better the environment. So, and easier it will be for our business people to do business. So we can do a lot of more business, make more money, make more profits, and pay more taxes. And also employ more people in Lagos, in Lagos State. So I want to assure you, those two bodies will link up with you shortly to see areas of collaboration. Imagine the pound is eight. All right, welcome back uh, to the bumper breakfast. Kade, what do you have? Uh, okay, going ahead uh, with the news this morning. I think we're talking about the chairman, Christian Beras, um, exactly. Christian, Christian Beras, pardon me. All right, the chairman, Christian Beras, Muftao Durosimi Eti, says the objective of the organization is to promote attainment of Western education by folks in the Islamic faith for their collective improvement and upward social mobility within society. Dura Semiati disclosed these at the 83rd anniversary and formal commissioning of the Christian Bearers 1939 Mosque in Lagos. He said the drive to promote community-focused educational, religious, and socio-cultural activities in the area were part of the focal point of the organization. The chairperson, Professor Saida Mabadeje, congratulated the Umar for having another magnificent place of worship. I would like to focus on Muslim education in Lagos State, with particular reference to tertiary education. The declining enrollment of Muslim students at all levels, as reported in Nino Luwu Uluro Day report on page, page 17 of the essays, is concerning. All the seven findings are very important, but I want to highlight numbers four and six, which have to do with qualifications. The issue is complex. The issue is complex or complicated. I couldn't decide which word I would, should, I would use. As regards number four, inadequate requisite educational qualifications among Muslim teachers. And number six, disappearance of Muslim teacher training colleges. Many of those professionally trained to teach abandon the profession after graduating, and they flock to the banks looking for a job. A number of them would promise anything when they approach university staff members. Basically, to educate the Muslim students who are not privileged to go for education in the past and to award scholarships, make uh, presentable and uh, some sitting areas in the cemeteries uh, like Aton, Okesuno, and Abari, and uh, we give scholarships to students, you know, in the tertiary institutions, universities in particular, and uh, we just do things that will enhance the living standards of human beings in any environment that we are in. It's to make sure that uh, education system for Muslims is kept alive and is obtained in a good way for all the Muslims that need them and that's the pivot of it. 
scholarship, scholarship, scholarship to educate everybody.